Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. As you can probably tell, um, I am at a park today. I did do a small hike, but we are at the uh, Riverside Park boat livery, and you can kind of see a little bit of lake behind me. People are out there getting their early October fishing on. Uh, it's a bit colder than usual, uh, but so far it has made for a beautiful day to be out in it. Our topic for the day is actually one that we've covered a little bit, and it is um, dealing with whether or not I take credit for things that I've done, and specifically things that I feel like I've done for the kingdom, my righteous acts. Am I taking credit or am I giving God the credit for that? Um, and Matthew actually talks about it in chapter six. Matthew chapter six, we're just doing five verses. I'm gonna jump right in. It says, beware of practicing your righteousness before men to be noticed by them. Otherwise, you have no reward with your your father who is in heaven. Here is the concept. If you do a righteous thing and you're fairly proud of it, maybe it's part of something your church is doing, maybe it's something you've done on, on your own, um, helping to uh, feed someone or give someone a ride to the hospital, something like that, and you take credit for it, uh, the father doesn't give you any reward for that. Your reward is in full. In fact, in verse two, he continues. When you give to the poor, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that it may be honored by men. Truly I say to you, they have their reward in full. But when you give to the poor, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving will be in secret, and your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Now. This may sound like kind of an obvious thing, right? When you're trying to reward someone, when you're trying to give a gift, trying to do a righteous act, in this case, giving to the poor, there's no way that you wanna put yourself on stage for that. However, I think a lot of it is human nature. We do have to stop ourselves from immediately taking credit. And uh, I'm not talking just about you, I'm talking about me as well. We have a distinct privilege of feeding and large number of homeless people every Sunday morning. And when someone says, oh, this is a great thing you're doing, I have to be very quick to not go, yes, it is. I'm very proud of me. <laughs> I have to be very quick to say, no, God has given us this great opportunity and we love being a part of it, but this is God's ministry, not ours. And I think that goes against human nature. We want so much to take credit for the things we've done. Now, we actually goes on because giving and, of course, being specific with the poor and kind of left hand, right hand, making sure um, that you do it in kind of a semi-secret sort of way um, kind of makes sense. When you get to verse 5, it gets a little trickier. It says this, when you pray. You're not to be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners so they may be seen by men. Truly I say to you, they have their reward in full. This one's a little tricky for me because I'm a big believer in putting your faith out in public. It's one of the reasons why we do these devotionals in semi-public places. Typically, I try to find a quiet spot, but even today, there's people walking around, people that are here. I want to put my faith out there in public. I'm a big proponent of it. Here, it says, specifically when you're praying, what the hypocrites do is they stand in the synagogues and they pray, or they stand on a street corner and they pray so that they may be seen my bend. Truly, I say to you, they have their reward in full. So I think that is the key. When you're saying, no, I'm not being a showboat. I'm just living my faith in public. The difference is, are you trying to be seen by men as performing righteous acts? Or are you trying to promote the kingdom of God by living the way you've been called to? I think it's a very fine line to walk. You know, if you have questions or comments, concerns, um, or perhaps even a description of how it is that you walk that line in your life, you can leave in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. I'm always looking for better ways to tune up this portion of my faith. Well, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. I pray this has been as encouraging for you as it has been to me. God bless. Be encouraged. Be encouraged.